Conker's Bed for a Day is the raunchy, fourth-wall-breaking game produced by Rare we all know and love. It has all the charm we appreciate about Rare games, a colorful cast, expansive world, fun gameplay ideas, and this game got changed from its original intent to bring us a more adult-natured adventure, I think for the better. It's one of those games I can't help but find myself thinking about with its world and characters. I mean, we first saw Conker in the family-friendly Diddy Kong Racing, and then his own game, Pocket Tales, on the Game Boy. Conker really grew up from his adventures and brought his girlfriend Bear- Who is that? This is not Barry, but this is Overthinking It. Barry the Chipmunk first made her debut in Banjo-Kazooie, technically, as a cameo poster on the wall in Rusty Bucket Bay. A fun little nod, but her true first appearance was in Conker's Pocket Tales. Conker's Pocket Tales, the Game Boy Color adventure, saw Conker's beloved Barry be captured by his arch enemy at the time, the Evil Acorn. This Evil Acorn lies in wait in a birthday cake ready to pounce. The reason why? We have no idea, but apparently he just hates Conker. Maybe Conker likes to eat acorns and he took that personally. It's never really expanded upon. Anyways, he leaps out of the cake and snatches Barry, sending us on a big quest to go defeat the acorn and rescue the girl. So what inevitably happens is we defeat that acorn and he is blown away far into the sky, swearing his revenge. Now fast forward to 12 Tales. Though not released, it shows that our Barry from Pocket Tales is directly translated to 3D and was a playable character, which is something we didn't get in other games. Let's take a look at her now that she's fully modeled. She has peach colored fur with pink eyeliner, a red dress, red and yellow sneakers, and long brown hair with a yellow bow in it. Most importantly, she is about the same size as Conker, being rather small. It's unfortunate, but we don't know exactly what took place in 12 Tales other than the basic plot. The few things we do know are that the game has the characters working to recollect 100 presents that had been stolen by the hoodlums and scattered throughout the four worlds. Conker and Barry also need to save their friends who were kidnapped. And according to the wiki, this game even involved time travel. It sounds like an interesting take, and Conker and Barry would play totally different, with Conker being an up-close and personal character with a slingshot, while Barry relied more on animal friends to take out enemies. Now let's take a look at Conker's Bad Fur Day for a minute, shall we? Barry is yet again Conker's girlfriend, though her look is completely different. She is now tall, gray, and has shorter blonde hair. She also wears a lot of pink. This is probably one of the most radical redesigns I've seen. On the surface, these characters are completely different. They look nothing alike. Are these even the same character? My answer is no, they aren't the same character. But in order to answer that, I need to look at our main hero first, Conker, as I believe he is the same. Conker Between Games has a similar look, although he is wearing different clothes in Bad Fur Day versus the rest. His model otherwise is very similar to 12 Tales and Diddy Kong Racing. So what's changed for him? Honestly, his entire personality. He went from the bright, chipper, and family-friendly squirrel to a greedy, sarcastic, and heavy drinker. He used to live as an average squirrel who was yearning for any excuse to go on an adventure, according to the Diddy Kong Racing Manual. Why such a dramatic change? I think something happened to him in 12 Tales, and specifically, I think it involves Barry. Based on the Barry in Bad Fur Day, it seems she's open to other men aside from Conker, who she is allegedly in a relationship with. Listen to her voicemail. Hi, you've reached, like, Barry's place? I'm not available to answer the phone, obviously. However, if you leave your, like, name and number and you sound cute, I may ring you back. Ciao! And if we play live and reloaded, we actually see a card for Barry that says, Call Barry, she's waiting for your conkers, and has her phone number at the bottom. While we don't know a lot about Barry's personality in 12 Tales, we do know that from our experience in Pocket Tales, she cares a lot about Conker and wanted to make his birthday special, preparing a cake for him, but being surprised when a different cake shows up. In contrast, Bad Fur Day Barry goes out of her way to ignore him, even after he rescues her. The relationship feels very one-sided with Conker saying I love you once in the game and not being totally upset Barry didn't recognize him because, well, he was wearing a hat. For real, bro. You're wearing a hat. Nothing else has changed. But even then, at the end of Bad Fur Day, spoiler alert incoming, Barry is killed, and Conker barely reacts to it. 
This is a far cry from Pocket Tales where Conker specifically goes on his adventure to save Barry. He also has the opportunity to bring Barry back to life and he seemingly forgets. A strange thing to do if you really care about someone. Which leads me to believe this is not his Barry. She may very well have the same name or nickname. Either way, she seems to be some sort of hired actor or adult entertainer due to her business card. In fact, it's implied later she is some sort of adult star by her being featured in a magazine Conker's reading. When researching this topic, I watched some of the rare replay interviews about 12 Tales and I saw something very interesting. We get a lot of exclusive game footage, but for a brief moment on the footage we have from this game, we can see Barry is pink with blonde hair running around. And just before that, we see a menu navigation with a picture of Barry seemingly gray with blonde hair as she is in Bad Fur Day. So somewhere in development, the design started changing perhaps to differentiate her from Conquer a bit more, or perhaps it's something that happens in the game. Also noticeably absent from Bad Fur Day are enemy acorns, which are strange. Once so prominent, they don't even exist in Bad Fur Day, at least the sentient ones. We also never hear from the evil acorn ever again, though he stated he would get his revenge. Here is where I dive into the meat and potatoes. My thought is Conquer was overly frustrated at the thought of an enemy lingering out there and potentially causing trouble again. I mean, rest assured, Conquer holds no bar against killing and also the yearning he has for another adventure. It stirred him to go back into the past and defeat him early. Perhaps he even had other things in the past he wanted to do. We have no idea what the method of time travel is in 12 Tales. Since a book is used in the menu navigation and heavily featured, I might add maybe there is a sort of magical book that allows him to travel. But in being irresponsible, he went back and changed things he shouldn't have. He's shown to want to get rich and be greedy, so maybe he tried to make some money. And in doing so, he disrupted the time stream, creating an alternate timeline. This fundamentally changed Barry when he returned. He then goes back and tries to restore the timeline numerous times, which is why Barry then changed to pink and finally gray, when he decided to stop messing with the time stream. This even affected other games, like how in the N64 version of Banjo, we see the Barry poster, but in the Xbox version, it's changed to Conquer himself. Maybe this answer the whole banjo being mounted and stuffed in the cock and plucker? Bad Fur Day exists in an alternate timeline. This conqueror is dealing and struggling with the loss of his berry and has succumbed to alcohol to help with his pain. He has tried to be with this berry, but she is fundamentally a different person and very promiscuous, which he also wrestles with. I should add, the reason I believe Barry got so tall is because this version of Barry is very into fitness and working out. So she's simply a health nut and had a growth spurt. The end of Bad Fur Day finally sees Conquer moving on, accepting his new role as king of all the land, but going back to have one final drink at the Cock and Plucker before going a different direction. Or am I overthinking it? Do you love Bad Fur Day and other rare titles? Well then this is the place for you. Check out my other videos and be sure to leave a like on this one to let YouTube know you like what you see. Until next time, have a good one. Jiggy look back!